Hi, group number one. So we are looking at the next few days ahead. This is a timeless reading. So you chose the Desert Rose. So the Desert Rose Stone, this is selenite and then it has sand on it. So I feel like there's going to be some balance because selenite is ruled by the moon and then sand is from the earth. And with the flower too, I'm feeling like some situation in your life is coming to full bloom, fruition. There's some harmony or balance coming to this. Um, something may be coming to completion. Let's see what your cards say. And we will clarify anything with the tarot if needed. Elephant. A long journey, either physical or mental, will leave you wiser at the end. Yes. Oh, <laughs> I love this. So, yeah, I feel like there has been some journey, some situation going on, like the card says, um, either physical or mental, and it is leaving you wiser. And I can see that with the flower. It's like it's you're, like, blossoming. You're coming, like... Or I don't, there's something here that you're really learning from a situation that could have been tough for a while, but now you're seeing the beauty and the meaning behind it and really having what feels like to be spiritual growth, especially since there's selenite in there at the moon. I feel like there's a lot of maturity, a lot of wisdom that has you've gained from this situation and you're starting to see it not as like a pain and like problems in the past, but like something that is helping move you along um, towards your purpose. So, yeah, it looks like some major chapter is coming to an end this next few days. Now, let's look at the Lenormand to see. Yes, you're getting a, we have the key. So, the key is like a solution, um, the way out of a situation, which makes sense. So, there's something that you've been going through, and you're going to be finding the solution, the way out. Some people may be... Um, literally moving because we have a long journey physical some people could be figuring out where they're living signing a lease or perhaps you are getting a car or going on a journey um on a car sorry my cat is crying she wants to go into the closet she can wait a second <laughs> um and then we have here snake and fox interesting i feel like you guys have dealt with some people and they could have been a little mischievous, doing things behind your back, um, mistreating you in a way really not who they said they were, and you're moving on from this. So you could have been really hurt for a while by um, people that deceived you in some sort of way. Maybe they took advantage of you for your kindness, but you're um, now moving on from them and not um, like dwelling on the fact that you were hurt or taking advantage of your you're like, wow, okay, I learned from this situation. I am moving on. I'm not going to let them take my personal power anymore. And you're you're just, yeah, you're just leaving that behind. Like, no more drama. I, I'm higher vibrational energy than these people. I don't need that around me. And you're definitely moving on from that. That makes so much sense with all of this. Um, so if that is resonating with you, this is definitely your reading, and we're going to move on. But if not, there you can check the other piles. We have here watchers, transpersonal. You know, with this card, I feel like people around you, oops, can you move this up a little bit? People around you um, might be watching, like these people that you were in your life before, and they're like watching you elevate and grow. And, like you're seriously transcending, and you're just like moving beyond that, and you're seeing the bigger picture in life. There's definitely some spiritual development here. Um, you definitely are elevating in life and you're, you're moving into a place where you're going to find more balance in relationships, um, with the number 60 here, that's six in numerology, which is all about like harmony, um, and peace and union with others. So after seeing this, yeah, you're moving away from this energy. You, this is a major few days for you. A really, um, a lot of growth here happening for you. Group number one, good for you. And then... We have self-esteem. I possess gifts of the soul that benefit me and others. Yes, you have really, like, I think these, this energy that you were in before, these people around you, these other energies around you were making you feel bad, but you've, like, found your self-worth, your self-esteem, and you know that you have gifts to share with, with the world, and you just are, you're moving on and sharing them. I possess gifts of the soul that benefit me and others. You could potentially be um, teachers or healers in some way, and you could be discovering that that is your path you want to take this week. And then we have composure. Uh, yeah, you are able to keep your composure and not lose your shit. Like, excuse my friends, around people that like were, you know, negative before. You're really like, you're wise. You really matured. I keep saying that, but I see that even again here in this card. 
you're able to keep your cool, like, you know, cool head prevail. But the thing is, you don't even need to be around the energy anymore. You're like, you transcended that. And look, you're like, definitely, definitely getting more spiritual. I think you're getting some downloads um, from spirit, from your higher self this week, the next few days. And um, I think you're being called to practice some meditation. You'll probably have a low key next few days, um, really just doing self care, taking care of yourself, like learning, reading books, doing yoga, all that stuff. And you're going to really like get some intuitive hits. And I see that you're going to start doing that more and more. Like, look at these two cards next to each other. It's like you're becoming in with the elephant. There's a lot of wisdom here, a lot of spiritual growth. Well, let's get some tarot cards to clarify anything else, um, Spirit, for group number one in the next few days. I think that moved over after I asked. I feel like they want you to meditate or start some practice, a daily practice, um, on, to work on your spirituality if you have not already, or maybe to strengthen that or add on to it if you already do. It literally moved when I asked that. I know it was the cards, but the cards are also spirit. Oh, Oh my gosh, they're really positive cards. Just came. I only saw two so far. There's something that is going to be celebrating. You know, I said you're going to be like maybe doing some calm things. There might also be some celebration or some time with friends because we have the six of wands next. You've really gone through some growth. Some Something has gone on in your life that is going to be worth celebrating and you're going to be recognized for that. And I feel like that is coming after a time. Oh my gosh, yes. So you have the five of cups followed by the eight of swords reverse. I think what you're really celebrating is your growth. You're like out of this stuck, stagnant phase of life. And that is totally worth celebrating. Your mindset is so much better. Like this is beautiful. So I'm really happy for you guys, group number one. Like this is like, you're going from like feeling sad and negative and alone because this energy before just that you're moving on from, it just wasn't very nice. And now you're going to have like more harmony and relationships. Like I said, you're going to be recognized um, and you're moving out of this, the sad phase, um, and you're getting out of this trap entrapment. You're making a journey away from this negative mindset, this um, scarcity mindset that you potentially were in, and you're coming out more confident. And people are really have eyes on you. Like you're like just like beaming your high vibrational energy. You're really blooming, which we saw starting off with the desert rose. So powerful few days for you coming up, group one. I hope you like this reading. I hope it resonated. If you haven't yet subscribed, I hope you consider doing so. So I will see you in the next one. Bye, group one. Hi, group number two. You chose the red aragonite. So this is a great stabilizing and grounding stone. And it looks like you may be um, like seeking more harmony and finding it the next few days ahead, um, releasing some issues from the past or any attachments and really just growing overall, balancing your lower chakras, especially maybe um, your root chakra you've been working on or your sacral chakra. It looks like whatever it is, you're getting more grounded, you're finding more harmony and you're really growing and releasing anything that was holding you back. But let's get your cards and see what the themes are, what's going on in the next few days. And this is a timeless reading, by the way. Oh, my God. A change for the better butterfly. I think you guys really have been doing the work. And you're, like, breaking out of the chrysalis. You're starting to become a butterfly. And change is for the better. Yes. That is beautiful. I love this for you. So, yeah, whatever these changes are you've been doing, whatever work you've been doing on yourself... Um, if you've been really like trying to manifest positive changes the next few days, you are going to start to see these changes. So let's now look at the Lenormand to get more information on what these changes are. Oh, the moon. So perhaps you guys are manifesting with the moon and that could be, um, telling you what this is about specifically, but the moon and Lenormand represents emotional satisfaction, career satisfaction, um, a new cycle. It seems like you're starting a new cycle that is going to be very powerful. The number eight in numerology is like a power number. Like I feel like you're really finding your inner power, finding confidence in yourself, and that is leading to a new cycle that is going to be beautiful and so many positive changes. More stability is coming. <laughs> there could be financial stability, security, and safety overall. And this could be like maybe getting more money with work, 
Oh my god, this is so positive. I love it. And then we have the bouquet, which is about like gifts being recognized. And also this could be about professional skills. So I'm really seeing something here for a lot of you that there is going to be maybe a promotion or some change at work or something. It could really just since we're only talking about the next few days ahead. Um, I think the changes you're making right now are leading to this security, this stability, this work recognition on these gifts that are coming in. You're being recognized for your skills and your gifts. And that is really um, starting to blossom and grow this week. So the changes you're making are leading to very positive outcomes. So go you. It looks like you're, you're really been um, working on yourself and it's paying off. confirmation you've been really working on yourself and there's a lot of spiritual growth going going on here and that is why you're being rewarded and gifted spirits recognizing all of the work you put in on yourself it's not easy to do the work and you're really growing spiritually and a bunch like you're going to be feeling better emotionally with your job with feeling safe and secure which is great to get this anchor with when we're talking about the root chakra over here because the root chakra can make you feel really unsafe, especially if you've been holding on to childhood traumas. It seems like you've been working through that, whatever that is. And now you're going to be feeling really safe. Your inner child's going to be feeling safe. And now your life is going to be more beautiful. And overall, so much greatness is coming for you. I'm so happy for you. Yes, you're going to be more at peace. I am a being of love and I release all negative energy. I really feel like that's what you've been working on and you're being rewarded for it. And if you feel like you're still in that phase of working on it, I mean, it's a lifetime thing. We're always going to be working on it, but this would be a great affirmation to say this week. I am, or whenever you feel like it, you can do it longer than a week. I am a being of love and I release all negative energy. That is a beautiful affirmation. And then we have jeweled web connectivity. Oh my goodness, this is beautiful. So I think a lot of these changes that are coming for the better, um, you could be networking for your job, but you're really making connections um, and they're very beautiful, jeweled web. So I feel like you're just starting and you're like, first of all, a web, like a spider web is like protection, like spiritual protection. Um, and also with the jewels, I feel like all you're also like being connected to people and things like there's a little dragonfly there, which is like in butterfly, like your things are really transforming. I see that you're going to have more um, stable relationships and they're going to help connect you and move you forward in your career and life in general. And you're also just going to feel more connected with yourself, which is going to lead to you having more deep, meaningful connections with other people in your life. The number five is about changes, and there's changes coming in a beautiful way. It's like once you make one small change, then there's going to be another that's going to lead to another, and they're all jeweled, so they're all beautiful changes. It's like just making one small change, this work you've been doing on yourself is just going to keep leading and branching out into all these other beautiful changes. This is really positive. So, yeah, maybe you're just at the small change now, like, you know, making one thing. Maybe, like, one, like, little good thing happens, but it's just going to keep being, like, a ripple effect kind of for you. It's just going to – you're going to keep branching out. You're going to keep growing in an amazing way, starting, like – and you're going to start seeing that within the next few days. So let's get some tarot cards now. Spirit, what else for group number two? Can you clarify anything? Any additional messages? What's going on in the next few days for group number two? Yeah, the old cycle's ending. So you're, you're running, you were trapped before, but you couldn't get away, but that's no longer. You're closing that cycle. Whatever that cycle was that was painful, that hurt, you're moving on. And you might still be feeling that pain because we're only talking the next few days here, but the changes you're making now, the work you're doing despite it being difficult, group number two, is going to be so positive for you and leads to so much. It's It was hurtful, but we have the raven here. You're gaining wisdom from this and you're growing and that's leading to all these changes coming forward. Remember, I'm a being of love and I release all negative energy. This is you releasing the past cycle, the past you and moving on to a more stable, abundant, beautiful, peaceful So yeah, we have here also um, the Ten of Wands reverse. So you're releasing burdens, you're releasing drama and conflict, and you're ready to start planning the future and like setting your plans into motion. So the next few days I'm getting from Spirit right now, we already see what's coming, but like this is you setting the framework the next few days for this beautiful new cycle of life. Spirit wants you to continue releasing things that don't serve you, 
like if things aren't helping you on your path, release them. If things in relationships specifically are holding you back and not making you like come out of your cocoon, you know, the chrysalis and be that beautiful butterfly you are, it's time to release those relationships, uh, that conflict that is unnecessary that you can and start manifesting, start taking action, small steps towards this life, this new cycle. And that is what you will be doing these next few days. So go you. I'm proud of you. Um, I can't wait to see you hear what goes on, um, what all these amazing changes are coming. So I love you, group number two. I hope this resonated. I hope this was helpful. I hope you enjoyed this reading. If you did, if you haven't already, I hope you consider subscribing. So I will see you in the next one. Bye, group number two. Hi, group number three. You chose uh, Chalco or Kelco Py Pyrite. Sorry, Kel... Kelco Pyrite. <laughs> so this is like Pyrite Fool's Gold, but it ha it's also known as Peacock Ore. So I feel like you're really going to be standing out and feeling confident and beautiful or handsome the next few days. Um, you could be receiving some gift or some recognition. Something is happening that's making you feel good, making you stand out, and let's figure out what that is. So right, what is happening in the next few days? Cobweb. You're protected from negative forces beyond your control. That's uh, beautiful. <laughs> um, so you're gonna be protected and I see flowers here. I really feel like you're blossoming and I feel like maybe you haven't felt safe or you weren't sure of things before, but you are divinely protected. And whatever you're working on, whatever you're doing, um, I think knowing that is going to help you shine. But let's like, get the Lenormand to get more information here. But knowing, this is a beautiful card to get. I love this card. We have the mice. Yeah, I feel like you were in a situation going into this next few days that maybe there was some like scarcity, some maybe just a scarcity mindset, um, just scrounging, not knowing how to get by, like not knowing how you're going to pay rent or whatever's going on. But spirits letting you know that you're protected and trying to not focus on the lack and focus on what you should be doing, what makes you shine, what makes you feel good, because you are protected and you will be okay. And we have the um, diviner card. So this is um, special for this deck specifically. Perhaps some of you guys are um, getting into some esoteric stuff, or maybe you've been talking to your spirit guides asking for protection. This is confirmation that they are listening and they are protecting you. I mean, we already know that here, but if you've been asking for them, if you've been talking to your guides, using your tarot cards, doing manifestation, whatever it is you do, um, it looks like whatever you're trying to manifest and whatever you've been asking for is coming. Um, I also feel like... They're telling you to be your protection and everything because maybe things are happening like right this second, but they want you to know that they are listening and that things are happening behind the scenes and your obstacles will be overcome. So I love how the diviner card is right in between there. It's I think they're also calling for you to talk to your spirit guides more. Maybe work on your spiritual practice. If you do tarot or draw cards at home, maybe um, talk to your guides there because they are really protecting you and helping you overcome any scarcity and any obstacles. And with the mountain, this could represent obstacles, but it's also those that can be surmounted. And with this cobweb here, you will surmount any obstacles that you've been having. And you're going to come out just fine with that peacock or that also like... Pyrite is like the same family as in that has to do with abundance and finances. And I'm really feeling like with this group, there could be some worry about finances or something like that. Some, something that you're worried you don't have enough of or some obstacles, something you're afraid you can't, maybe there's like some goals you're trying to reach and you're afraid you can't get there, but spirit's saying you will. And they want you to get more in touch, maybe work on your spiritual practice in some way, whatever that means to you. Yeah. But it looks like there's some new beginning coming for you too, or maybe that's what you're starting to draw in because, yeah, I can see that. Let's see. Okay, now this makes sense, right? Under the mice, we have regret. So there's something you're holding on to that spirit wants you to move forward. Don't regret anything from the past. Don't focus on the past. Focus on the now and the present, and you will be able to overcome anything, and you are protected. So if you're feeling like, oh, I wish I got that job. I wish I did X, Y, and Z. Um, I wish I didn't spend that money. Like spirits, like don't focus on that. I know that I cannot change the past. Spirit wants you to get out of that mindset of lack mentality, regret, wishing you did something because they want you to know if something didn't work out in the past, that much better is coming in the future. There's a reason why things didn't work out. So they want you to talk to them and move past that. And it might not be easy, but you are, they have your back. And you're going to come out of this so much more confident. And then we have here, 
horned cactus resourcefulness. Yes, you will be fine. You ha they are giving the resources, the knowledge, the wisdom as of to eleven to um, to get through this period. This next few days, like maybe you're worried going into this next few days, but by the end of this, you're going to find the resources and knowledge to overcome the obstacles right under there too. And it really is divine protection, divine guidance. So, yeah, things are going to be fine. You're going to be stable, strong. And then clear, cancel, release. Yes, yeah, spirit's really coming through with this group. They want you to move on from what's not serving you anymore. Move on from the past. Live in the present. That is the main thing that's going on in the next few days. You're you're getting rid of this mindset that wasn't serving you, and you're, you're coming to a new perspective, and that's going to lead you to finding resources, finding the solutions to any issues you may have in your life currently, and you're going to come out of it like, shiny and bright and new so what habits aren't serving and what thoughts that seems to be the big thing but perhaps for some of you it could be relationships or um, situations that you're around um, spirit one, the next few days uh, it looks like you're going to be really thinking about this and you're going to be guided from your spirit guides and clearing out what's you know and releasing like old thought patterns whatever it is and that's going to lead you to a more resourceful beautiful future. So these next few days, it's like really doing the work on that. Can we get more information, Spirit, for group number three in the next few days? Anything else they should know? Any clarification on what to release? Yeah, you know, it's, they want you to really, it's becoming clear it is like a scarcity mindset that you don't have enough, that you don't have X, Y, and Z. They don't want you to think that way anymore. And if you're like, but how can I not worry about that? I need this. You're protected, they're saying. Don't worry that. And also make sure you're nurturing yourself and taking care of your, your needs, like doing some self-care, making yourself feel good. Oh, I love this. Justice will prevail. Karma will come back. Oh, my God. Yes. <laughs> so once you get out of this mindset and start taking care of yourself more and your, just your basic needs, just like mother yourself a little bit, you know? Um Things will come into balance. Karma will come around. You're fine. You're protected. Things will come out. Not only just come out better, you're going to be celebrating after this. Something is going to be worth celebrating after this few days. Things will become more balanced and fair for you. Don't worry. It's just a mindset shift. That's what's coming through for you, group three. So these next few days are going to lead to a celebration. Maybe you are going to a party or a wedding or something, but... I'm seeing the next few days, whatever you're working on, um, these thoughts, getting rid of them, um, you're going to be able to obtain, and yes, it's right under the gold, um, the mountain. You're going to end up, like with the changes you make the next few days, conquering any obstacles and reaching your goals, and it's going to be something worth celebrating. So go you. <laughs> um, I wish you all the best, group number three. I hope this was helpful. I hope this resonated. If you like this reading, if you haven't already, I hope you consider subscribing. So I will see you in the next one. Bye, group three. I love you.